Hey Capricorns, welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your weekend love reading. Obviously this will uh, apply whenever you see it, so if it's not on the weekend, energy is fluid. That's just where I'm focusing uh, my attention to call in your energy. So, Scorpio, or Scorpio, Capricorn, what do we need to know for Capricorn and love this weekend? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, guys. All right, the Death card in reverse. Trying to resist some change possibly for some of you. The shadow in reverse. And the hanged man in reverse. The person you are dealing with is the five of cups. The six of wands in reverse. The Page of Shields and Eight of Shields and Queen of Swords. The Ace of Cups in your outcome. The Mother in your outcome. And the Eight of Cups in reverse. Bottom of your deck is the Nine of Swords or Knight of Swords, clarified with the Nine of Shields and the Queen of Wands. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what is Okay, so you are breaking free from a toxic relationship. However, I do feel you're resisting the change. It's like you have taken the time away. You've taken the time you needed. You know what you have to do. And you know that breaking away from this person is going to break their heart. But you also see that this you don't feel this can move forward. Um... There could be children involved, but I still see that you're going to go through a divorce or, or release yourself from a relationship because you are gaining the confidence to become single um, and you are going to deliver the truth to somebody about this breakup very soon. Why is death in reverse? Yeah, so uh, you weren't seeing what the universe is trying to show you before, but you're seeing it now. You're wanting a, a more high vibration relationship. Um, why is the shadow here? But you feel like you're, you have felt like you were like tied and bound to this person, but you are going to break free from that devil with the justice card. Um, like I said, going through that divorce or severing from that relationship. Um, you have taken the time to think this through. You're not rushing into this. You truly feel this is what needs to be done. It is gonna, it is gonna, you know, break this person's heart, but they're gonna be okay. Yeah, they're gonna move forward um, and be able to heal from this connection because it is what's best for both of you and creating a new chapter, both you and them. Uh, Wow, the king and queen of swords. You could most definitely be connected to Scorpio. For one, I said it on accident in the beginning, but they had this in theirs as well, in their top line. So it would be the same person. Uh, but they're going, they're coming out of a transformation and going to cut away from the situation. Um, yeah, they're working hard on their finances, trying, and they are going to take action here. So whether this be you or them, Capricorn, uh, this is this relationship is coming to an end. But it's going to give you both the opportunity to work on your self-love and then find true love. Um, find somebody who will, who gives, wow, King of Cups, who gives um, as much as they take, who has that, those strong feelings for you, who will withstand the choppy waters. Um, and still be there waiting for you. The mother represents the empress. So you're gonna you're gonna create a whole new life for yourself. 
Capricorn, you're truly cutting ties with this person and moving forward the best way you know how, creating a whole new abundant life. Yeah, Seven of Wands, you have your guides and the divine behind you. Um, it may be kind of a battle to try to get out of this marriage. You may have to fight, but you are going to be successful because you have justice in the upright and they have Six of Wands in the reverse. And you have the Seven of Wands. So you may have to battle the mother of your children. Or as the mother, you're going to have to fight for custody of your children. Um, and the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Let's see what that is all about. The Five of Wands. Yeah, so no longer are you staying because of your mental conflict. No longer are you going to stick around for the conflict that the two of you have been going through. Um, the Knight of Wands with the Knight of Swords. You're coming in very quick and telling the truth and getting the hell out of there. Um, expressing that the love is no longer there. You'd rather be single than to be in this connection. Because there was a lot of betrayal and heartache that was connected to this relationship. Uh, the person you were with uh, could have been seeing more than just you or vice versa. But it's time for this rebirth. It's time for... The two of you to go your separate ways and and find that love, that true love, that self-love. And get out of this place where there's a lot of conflict. One card for our Capricorns. Like I said, watch Scorpio's reading because that was very closely tied. Oops, that one was already flipped. One card for Capricorn. Thank you. Forgiving and learning and let go of control issues. So as you release and heal the past, you will experience more love in your present moments and allow the situation to unfold naturally. You're going to have to let go of control issues and forgive and learn from the past moving forward with your lessons, but leave the heartache behind. Um, and everything's going to turn out just, just okay for you guys. There's a lot of anxiety, I feel. In your pre-shuffle, I got the Nine of Swords a couple times. So let, release that anxiety and just know that everything's going to turn out the way it's meant to and in your highest and best good. So Capricorns, I hope you have a beautiful day. I about called you Scorpios again. So watch the Scorpio reading. All right, guys, have a good day.